This episode of Richard's Tech Tips is brought to you by Photosync to PC. Synchronize all your photos from any Android device to your Windows PC today. Click to get more information today. Okay, so I'm back and uh, I don't know if you can see me here, but this is actually the fan that I want to show uh, the wattage for. And uh, this is a, a, a liquid cool operator. It's a normal floor fan, and as I said, um, a lot of the a lot of the sites that I saw they average these fans at 25 watts. However, thanks to my little device that I bought, I'm going to test it to really see what power, what sort of power it actually uses. So I hope that the camera is on the outlet. Very good. I'm plugging in my tester. And I can actually see, I don't know, you, you may not be able to see the actual writing. Let me try to zoom in. Good, you can see. So you can actually see the voltage there, and the voltage is saying 130.2 average, which is, you know, just the voltage, right? But we want to look at not just the voltage, we want to look at the wattage. Let me first plug in the device. And I've put the and I've actually put the fan on full load. And uh, I'm gonna choose wattage. And surprisingly enough, if you can actually look at the value which I'm gonna bring up further. You will notice that this fan on full load actually uses approximately 91 point something watts of power. And that is shocking compared to, of course, the 25 watts um, that we saw. And the lowest, part, the lowest fan speed, I'm going to show you what the lowest fan speed is. So I'm going to switch this to the lowest fan speed. And at the lowest fan speed, you'll notice that it actually uses 53 point something watts of power okay I'd actually like to put the results into some sort of perspective here so as we understood what we saw on the internet was a fan usage wattage wise is 25 watts what we've seen is that this fan these floor fans have been actually using over 90 watts of power on full load Let's put this into perspective. An average old time bulb, 100 watt bulb, uses 100 watts of power. It therefore means that if you have this fan running day and night, it's going to actually be like one of those inefficient bulbs using nearly 100 watts of power. Now, I'm not saying that the fan is inefficient. What I'm saying though is that you would be using a lot more power than you expected to use. It's not going to be near the normal fluorescent light bulb. In, in other words, you'll actually be using about four fluorescent light bulbs as long as that fan is on. I've actually seen people use their fan while their AC is on. And I have to say that the AC also uses a lot of wattage. And when you add a fan onto that, well, it'll add at least 10% more to your watt, to around that, around 10% more to your bill. So I'd suggest in certain circumstances that you switch off your fans if you're not going to be using your fans. Thanks again. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Dislike if you don't like it. Like if you like it. Let me hear your comments and I'll be sure to respond to them. Thanks again. See you again soon. Bye.